Hey guys, Cooper TV. Playing some Ancient Wilds. We've made some dramatic changes to the deck. We're going to hold on to that hand. So yeah, I've made some really big changes to this deck. I'm trying something completely different. I've taken a lot of the cards out. Wild Parents back in. I took out the Ambassador Oaks. I put in a few of the lower costs. I put in the Mana Plasms. I'm just trying to make it slightly more aggro earlier on. My opponent here was just chatting to him in the in between games, he's new to magic so just recommend my site, so I said I'd record this game and post it up for him, he is running uh, 80 odd cards, well 79 cards, but he's not sure which ones to drop so if he plays anything that he shouldn't be playing I'll let him know, anyway we will drop our Thornweld Archer, Death Touch, this is a really good card, the Crab card um, uh, make sure you're always playing this before lands, so if you get this turn 2, don't play your land first, play your Crab, he might know that already but just saying oh, let's get the turn um, uh, for if this guy, uh, Bayer FE, if you do watch this video, you do see it, you should also check out a couple other guys, Weapons of Mass Gaming, check their site out, just type in Weapons of Mass Gaming in the um, search bar, check out the Jules community, I have a little link on the other side, and of course check out Daisho, there's plenty of other people on YouTube, but they're the guys that I kind of follow, and they've got really good, I think they're really good at the game, so they have good um, uh, deck guides up for all their all the decks. They've not gone through them all, but they're putting them up, so check out those guys. Just check them in the search bar. And for anyone else that doesn't know about those guys, check them out as well. Anyway guys, let's get back to this game, the important one. So as I said, I've made a lot of changes to the deck. I'm just messing around with it a little bit more. So I think our play here is to... Possibly just swing in, or do I drop my shame in? Um, or do I drop this guy and pump him twice? Well, I can only pump on once, so it would only give things plus one, plus one. So, uh, we're getting our Venge Vine out next turn. So, no, I think, well, this is a play. We'll drop this guy and we'll pump on once, just get the boost. It's a three cost, he's a two, two, and he makes this guy a little bit better as well. This is what I'm trying to go for. I'm trying to go for the lesser creatures um, uh, and just play maybe a little bit more around it. I've not got as many of the big creatures in. I've just left in the, um, uh, the soul... Harvest dude, and of course, uh, my worm, my 7-7 seven, seven worm, I've only left the worm worms in, and of course Gigantomancer, I've got to leave him in, but that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to build up maybe a slightly better position on the board early on, Gigantomancer comes in, and bang, that's what we're looking for, so he's trying to mill me down, so he's milled me down a little bit, what have we got in our graveyard? We've lost, yep, see I've chucked a couple of these guys in, we've lost both of our claws at the call, we've lost one of our natural order, so that's a little bit disappointing, right, anyway, we knew what we were doing here, it's Vengevine coming in, swing in with the team, this is what I'm trying to look for, a little bit more aggression earlier on when our opponent's got less creatures out, um, I'm trying to not hold back, I don't think this deck has a late game, or okay, I do think it has a late game, I just don't think it's as strong as some other ones, and I think you can get crushed, so I'm trying to see if I can get in for more damage earlier on, and maybe with a little bit more disposable creatures, whereas if you look at your hand, you know, oh, I've still got a couple of 3-3s, three chuck them away. Um, there you go, there's the worm, um, uh, our Elder Scale worm. So he's putting our Spawn Wraith in there as well. We've also, as I said, put the, uh, the Mana Plasms in. Just looking for a little bit. The Mana Plasm seems to be quite a decent card. I'm quite happy I've put that back in. I've had a two shots. Oh, Gigantomancer's in the grave. So he's seriously milling me here, but it's not the best for him, I'm pretty down, but he's only got the one boy on the battlefield at the moment. So, what is our play? This is our play here. So, he can block here, but he'll be dead, and he can block here, but he'll be dead. So, what did I do? Drop this guy down, put the two tokens on him, because he, he, if he chooses to block any of them, he's dead now, so he, he has to block one of them, so I can kill his boy. And we get him for 7 damage, take him down to 1. So I've had a few games in the new format, I've just lost, I was losing so many games with the old one, it just wasn't working, it was just too slow. It's a good move taking him out because I'm, uh, yep, GG. Um, it just wasn't working basically. If you watch some of the videos, I'll upload a, a quite a few videos over the next couple of days just to show you how, how disappointed it was and how frustrating it's gone. 
But this seems this format seems to be slightly better. I seem to be just enjoying it more. One, this guy in with the elves seem to happen a little bit better. And he's quit out, and we're playing Jace. Hope he comes and checks this video out, guy. Mate, I hope you do. Um, and check out YouTube. It will really, really help you out. So he's left, and we're now playing Jace. But the game's over. We'll still upload this. He's got himself a lot of wolf, but it doesn't matter. Oh, we've got our other Venge Vine, which we'll may as well just drop. Just for the sake of it. And we'll swing in. Boom, 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 boom. Swing in with the team, because we can't get Steel Lethal. There we go, guys. This is the new Ancient Wilds. I'll keep uploading new videos of it and let you know how it goes. Cooper TV, signing out.